Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. I have a monster crush on you, a super dinosaur. It sits upon my chest and throat and yet I beg for more. When you are away, I miss you so, my heart is full of sand. Yet when you are here, my stupid fear won't let me touch your hand. I cannot sleep, I cannot eat, I am so wrapped up in you. My thoughts drift up away from words and fade into the blue. I know this crush is not your fault, the dinosaur is mine, yet if you could, please rescue me. And put your arms around me and hold me and say you love me and oh god would that be good. I know I hardly know you but I think that I may love you. You can see the way I look at you and know I know you have a girlfriend but I think we can be happy so take the time to find out if it's so. I know we don't have much time but I think it's just enough. If you'd like to take a chance on me, let's go. I know we'll have no right to love you. I gave you up and now you are with my friend but I can't stop myself from thinking of you even though that's not what I intend. I want you but I also don't want you to hurt my friend by breaking up with her. So things go wrong no matter what you do. I long for what I don't want to occur. Ah oh, me. I'm in a soap and can't get out. Help me if you can by being kind. I tell you this to banish any doubt that I'll be waiting if you are so inclined. But please, please, if my friend still has your love, forget completely what I have spoken of. I used to be completely cruel and heartless, using girls, then tossing them aside. I used to feel an angry, bitter hunger, not knowing why nor looking much inside. I used to think the goal of life was pleasure, my own of course, whatever that might take. A woman's feelings had to be her problem, self-sacrifice was always a mistake. And so, with just the slightest twinge of co-science, I hunted for my lonely ecstasy and even when I wanted a companion, the only one I cared about was me. We make our worlds like God in our own image. Mine was a metropolis of stone linen, which all souls were either fools or cynics, doomed to take their pleasure on their own. And then I fell in love with you and somehow your happiness meant more to me than mine. The desert became green and lush with flowers and like a sun my heart began to shine. And like a wind I swept across the ocean and like a star exploded into night and like a song I had love in my hands and like an angel knew that this was right. All that I had thought was proven wrong, all the lies to justify my greed. To love was to embrace the pit of life, to feel a joy far stronger than a need. And if I could so love, I could be loved, could think someone might want me and believe it, could let another know me without shame, could give myself and know I could retrieve it. All this I tell you that I might be known, that all of me no longer be alone. And if you do not love the one I am, so be it, I will weep but understand. I want to make your heart beat just for me. I want a true love in my lonely life. I have looked a long time, dated many men, but none I walked with walked in step with me. We walk together well, the best of friends, somehow we just fit, as if clean cut to go together, zigzags complimentary. But now I'd be something more than friends. I know I take a chance to mention love. I have no idea what feelings in your heart. But if you'd catch a burning, plunging star, I know I'd make you happy for your love. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe.